LEGO starts each new year with a bang, and 2024 was no exception. On January 1st, the company released over 150 brand new sets. So in this video, we're going to tell you 10 things about LEGO, sets, themes, and more that we are most excited for this year. At the end, we'll tell you which one set we are most for sure going to get at the new year. We start with the rebirth of the Goat Mold. Originally released back in 2011's Mill Village Raid, the Goat has been a point of pride for LEGO collectors. Whether you bought the original set back in 2011 as I did, or you spent $77 or so on BrickLink for just one Goat, as many people have over the last six months. At some point, word has it, the mold broke and no more Goats were produced until now. Rumors began circulating last year that the GOAT was returning, and indeed, we have images of the Series 25 collectible minifigures, which includes a GOAT herder and a white GOAT with printed dark tan horns. Beyond that, there is a rumor that we are getting at least one GOAT in the new Medieval Market Village remake from the 2009 version all the way here in 2023. And so, will we get those GOATs? Hopefully, and I also hope that it will be a printed spotted goat, just like the ones from 2011. As an adult LEGO fan, it can be really easy to get excited about the massive sets like Rivendell or the uh, Ninjago City Markets, but it's also important to note that the small sets can provide excellent value and or minifigs for all sorts of buyers, including kids and adults. To that end, there are a number of smaller sets that we're excited about, including the Japan Postcard, Ford Anglia, the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, and Dinosaur Fossil's T-Rex Skull. The Japan Postcard continues a sub-theme that in the past has taken us to Beijing, Australia, London, and New York. The Blossoms and Microscale Himeji Castle are highlights of this set. The Ford Anglia from Harry Potter is not new to LEGO. It's the fifth version of the car in minifig scale. However, it is the first time we're getting a standalone set and for $15 is an affordable way to get a classic item from the beloved movie franchise. I love the dark blue of the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, as well as its complex building techniques. Check out the hood and how the brackets are used to create its shape. Then, note the rear window and how it's angled. This set is a testament to the Speed Champion line's ability to incorporate the current pieces and building techniques in their sets in order to stay relevant. The T-Rex skull looks great and is a nice, small display piece. The pieces and fun building techniques make this an appealing set for $40. US Plus, I hope this is the start of a new sub-theme of Jurassic Park. Here's hoping. As our family sifted through the images of the Creator 3-in-1 line, we were pretty intrigued by most of the sets. So instead of highlighting just one or two, I'm gonna break down the entire theme. Many of these sets are intriguing for their bright and or bold colors, as well as their subject matter. Take, for instance, the aqua-colored retro roller skate, or even the tropical ukulele. Both jump off the page, okay, screen, and look great. They are also unique, which helps build anticipation. Execution matters here as well. If you don't want to spend $80 on the Ideas Polaroid, but want a nice retro kind of camera, you've got, well, the retro camera, which for $20 is a pretty fun looking build with great pieces. Animals are another traditional focus of Creator 3-in-1, and 2024 is no exception. My kids both loved the images of the Wild Safari animals, Red Dragon, and Exotic Peacock. Plus, our hamster-loving Autumn was enamored with the hamster wheel. All told, Creator 3-in-1 was the most intriguing line for our family. Excitement for the new year of LEGO sets isn't reserved just for the sets themselves. We often get new pieces and maybe even new colors to add to our collection, which is great if you are someone like me who likes to build your own creations. 
Seeing as I only have one 2024 set so far, the Natural History Museum, I won't claim to be knowledgeable about all of the new pieces hitting the sets, but in looking at over 150 plus set images, there were some things that jumped out to me. First, there are a number of new pieces in the Animal Crossing theme, including a new door element and what looks like two distinct window elements. Also, I think this stump piece is also brand new. Then there are some new leaf elements that made it into the Friends line in bright light orange, green, and two different shades of purple. Plus, I spied a new banana peel in one of those sets as well. And then there's Andrea's Modern Mansion in the Friends line, which also looks to contain a two stud wide version of the fern piece that was new in 2023. There also is a new 3x3 macaroni brick, and this photo shows what looks to be a new sand red color that I've seen rumored about for a while. Now, I know I probably missed some pieces, so let me know what I missed in the comments below. Not only is the Friends line introducing us to some new pieces, but it's also giving us some fantastic sets. Now, it could be that I have two daughters and this makes it easy for me to highlight the Friends theme, but I think these sets are really engaging. One set that jumped out to us was Ollie and Paisley's Family Homes, which feature unique architecture and new pieces. However, it looks like both families will be sharing just one bathroom. The hospital and shopping mall sets are both well done and reminiscent of prior sets of the same subject matter from the theme. But the hamster playground elicited a squeal of delight from Autumn and the massive Andrea's modern mansion drew my eye. The latter in particular is a unique design unlike any Lego set I've seen before and its curb appeal reminds me of 2023's downtown flower and design shop. Now this may be the biggest Lego house since the Simpsons house from 2014 and the details are just incredible. A pool, jacuzzi, working garage, rooftop, koi pond, waterfall, and more. It does cost $200, but you get a lot for it, and I'm tempted to make a video discussing just how important this set may be to future LEGO sets. Now, speaking of the downtown flower and design shops from a moment ago, there does not appear to be a large Friends modular set this year, although it appears as though the vintage fashion store is compatible with 2022's Main Street and the downtown flower and design shops from 2023. Now, I don't plan on getting the vintage fashion store, but I'm hoping we see something more substantial in the summer wave. Lego also likes to give us add-on sets, or sets that can be combined with others that went before it, and 2024 seems to be in keeping with that tradition. I already mentioned one Harry Potter set, but I also want to note the new Hagrid's Hut. The 2024 edition marks the fifth time we've seen this as a standalone set. Now, I have the 2010 version, so I may not snag this one, but I do like how this opens up and utilizes the interior space so well. Another cool add-on set is the Monkey Kids Megapolis City. It's a massive set that matches the chaotic look of its predecessors, but importantly, its 20 different subsections can be combined with the City of Lanterns and the Team Hideout sets to create one huge layout. We now come to my most anticipated set of the January 2024 releases, and for once, it's not a modular building, which is mainly because the modular for 2024 was already released in December of 2023. But that said, it is a set I plan on creating a custom modular. So if you've been watching this channel, you know probably which set I'm talking about. It is the Chinese traditional festival family reunion celebration. Not only is this set packed with cool details like a fish tank, busy sidewalk scene, and detailed interiors, but it represents a tremendous value. For $130, you get nearly 1,900 pieces and 13 minifigs. Oh, and the piece selection is conducive for modularization, as described in one of our previous videos. My goal is to grab one copy of the Family Reunion Celebration set and then supplement the build of my custom modular with pieces from my own collection. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our cool content in 2024, including plenty of custom builds. 
Thanks for watching and always remember to keep building together.